Hello everyone, welcome back to Saf in this podcast, a podcast that can be your sad night soulmate. I am Alia and will accompany you this Saturday night. How is your holiday guys? I hope it can refresh you after the very busy days. In this episode, I will do a little flashback to share my experience in joining the newscasting competition. Have you ever heard about newscasting? In newscasting, we have a role as a news anchor that is someone who brings the news to the audience. We usually meet news anchors in news channel, at least in the breaking news that suddenly appears during your favorite program. Last May, I had an opportunity to join Brawijaya English Tournament in the newscasting field. This competition is being held by Formasi UB, the Brawijaya University English Club, and it is divided into three rounds, which are the preliminary round, the semi-final round, and the final round. It's very interesting, because finally, the competition is held offline. Remembering during the pandemic, most competitions are held online. Fortunately, I passed the online preliminary round, so I can take that opportunity to feel the vibes of offline competition in the semi-final round, although I haven't made it to the final yet. I hope you can enjoy my story. Here, I want to focus to share my semi-final round because I could say that the offline vibe is hit differently. In the semi-final round, we should deliver breaking news with our script with a free theme and continue weather forecast with a map that was being announced just a day before the competition. Another good thing about this competition is, there are personal assessments for every round, so I can take a note for making myself better. Do you want to know my note, guys? On this podcast, I will share that note so hopefully it will be useful for those of you who will take part in newscasting competition or even the future me. Please take note that I'm just sharing, not teaching, okay? First things first, the judges say that in newscasting, our role is being the news anchor, not a news reader. So, what's the difference? Being a news anchor is not just reading the news. We must deliver the news with the right expression, gesture, and voice tone. In this case, I realized that I only focus on memorizing my script. So it looks like I'm just reading my script in my head and forget to control my expression and gesture. Besides that, they also say that I need to keep my volume to be stable and avoid a flat tone. But do you know what is the root of all these problems? The judges guess my condition accurately, and they ask, Are you nervous, Alia? Is this your first competition? And I was nodding to both of the questions, still trembling. So, the second note is that I need to cope with my nervousness. They say nervous is something normal, but I need to keep it and don't make it obvious. I still remember how nervous I am even since I was on the train on the way to Malang. The third note is about my eyes still not looking at one point. In newscasting, we need to focus at one point on what we think of as a camera, because in real life, the camera is the medium between the news anchor to the audience. It looks simple, but is an important tip, isn't it? Last but not least, the judges are talking about my outfit. I will give you a description of my clothes on that day. I'll wear a black hijab, a pale white shirt, a black suit, and black pants. I know, I know, it's very boring, right? The judges recommend I better change my hijab color to something brighter and I should see the outfit of the news anchor on television as my reference. So, the last note is about the outfit. Your outfit must be matchy, eye-catching, also neat. I even heard from another participant, they had experience getting asked by the judges to iron their clothes. From this competition, I got a lot of experience. Besides, I got my assessment, I also get the opportunity to have a look at the university and Malang City. I hope this story can be useful for all the listeners. 
Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to check our Instagram, Spotify, and YouTube channel to stay updated on the upcoming episode. I'm Alia. See you at another good time, guys. Safinus Podcast, a podcast that can be our sad night soulmate.